Most supplements don't work, but there is one specific supplement that virtually all the longevity experts and doctors are taking. This supplement actually has one of the longest track records of health benefits that can increase your lifespan and reduce your risk of heart disease. I personally think it is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory um, things, dietary lifestyle things that we can we can get easily, relatively easily, mm -hmm. that is going to powerfully modulate the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you age. What I'm talking about is fish oil, more specifically the omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA. I take um, EPA and DHA, so I take fish oil. So I am a big believer based on really good data that peer-reviewed data that you want to get two grams of EPA in your system every day for the antidepressant effects, the blood lipid profile effects, the... I'm not going to tell you that you need to take fish oil. The point of this video is to look at the research and see why most of the doctors are taking fish oil for their own health. There is a strong epidemiological link between fish consumption and reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and neurodegeneration. People who eat fish once or twice a week have been seen to have 50% fewer strokes, 50% lower cardiovascular disease risk, and 34% lower cardiovascular disease mortality compared to those eating no fish. The diet and reinfarction trial found that among patients with a history of a heart attack, recommending to eat more fatty fish resulted in a 29% reduction in all-cause mortality compared to those who didn't receive such advice. Giving an omega-3 supplement with EPA and DHA reduced all-cause mortality by more than 50%. The diet and omega-3 intervention trial took over 500 Norwegian men and gave them about 2 grams of combined EPA and DHA a day in a placebo-controlled trial. They saw a 47% reduction in all-cause mortality. The omega-3s are, are, I mean, they're resolving inflammation, they're like blunting inflammation, they're, they affect so many different parts of the inflammatory pathway, which is, I think, it plays a huge role in, in the way we age, the way our brain ages, the way we feel, our mood, just our joints, all that. EPA and DHA are essential for your nervous system, and they're the primary reason why you want to get some omega-3s. ALA or alpha-lipoic acid can also be converted into DHA and EPA but most humans convert only 5% of ALA to EPA and 0.5% to DHA. That's why seafood remains to be the best source of DHA and EPA. A 2021 analysis of 17 prospective studies discovered that people with the highest blood levels of EPA and DHA combined, but not ALA, had 15-18% to lower risk of total mortality and they were 9-21% to less likely to die from cardiovascular disease compared to the individuals with the lowest levels. Low levels of omega-3 fats are linked to early-onset coronary atherosclerosis. What he showed in his data was that in, and I think it was Framingham study, where he, he looked at the omega-3 index and people that had a omega-3 index of 4% or lower, so close to what the standard American is, but a little bit lower, they had a five-year decreased life expectancy compared to people that had an 8% omega-3 index. Smokers that had no omega-3 we're like the worst of all. We all know smoking is bad for us and we'll take, take years off our life expectancy. Absolutely. But smokers that had the high level, like smokers that were taking their fish oil or eating fish or whatever it was they were doing to get them up to 8%, they had the same life expectancy as non-smokers with the low, low omega-3 index. A 2022 study also found that the risk of Alzheimer's disease among the highest red blood cell DHA quantile was 49% lower compared to the lowest quantile in fully adjusted models. Going from the lowest quantile to the highest was predicted to provide 4.7 additional years of life free from Alzheimer's. In a 2018 meta-analysis, individuals who consumed the most fish had a much lower risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease than those who consumed low amounts of fish. A 2022 meta-analysis discovered that fish intake of up to two portions per week was associated with a 10% reduction in all-cause mortality and 30% reduction in Alzheimer's risk. The risk reduction plateaued after two portions per week. Overall, the evidence suggests that getting enough omega-3s is quite important for reducing your risk of heart disease, Alzheimer's, and overall mortality. At least I am convinced based on the evidence that getting enough dietary omega-3s as well as supplementing them is worth it in terms of the risk reduction and the benefits. But how much omega-3s do you actually need then? The recommended adequate intake of omega-3s is 1.1 grams a day for females and 1.6 grams a day for males. However, eating fish twice a week provides an average of only 300 to 400 milligrams a day. So eating fish twice a week 
is not enough to meet the optimal amount and they recommend that adequate intake is not what's seen to provide the maximum risk reduction. A combined intake of EPA and DHA between 1.75 to 2.5 grams a day has been found to be enough to reach omega-3 levels that are associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease and death. That's why I eat fish around three to four times per week and I take 1.5 to three grams of an omega-3 supplement every day. I'm taking roughly two grams of EPA a day and probably a gram and a half of DHA. The reason I take that much is I'm treating to a dose. I'm treating to a red blood cell membrane concentration of EPA and DHA of about 12%. With omega-3s, you have to be very careful with the brand that you're taking. The reason is that omega-3s, especially fish oil, is very easily oxidized. Regular fish oil on the market has been found to be rancid quite often. The International Fish Oil Standards, IFSO, they have a website where they do third-party testing of a ton of different fish oil supplements from around the world. And they measure the concentration of the omega-3 fatty acids in the actual supplement because nothing is ever what it says on the bottle. And then they also measure, measure contaminants, so mercury, PCBs, dioxins, things that you'd find potentially in fish that or harmful to humans. Uh, and they also measure mercury and then oxidized fatty acids. So these omega-3 fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acids, which are extremely prone to oxidation. So please keep your fish oil in the refrigerator. A low quality fish oil supplement is in the ethyl ester form, which makes it less bioavailable. If you don't take the ethyl ester form with food, you're not going to absorb almost any at all. A high quality fish oil is in the triglyceride form because it's re-esterified during manufacturing, which does make it more expensive, but it also makes it more bioavailable. To know which form of fish oil it is, either the triglyceride or the ethyl ester, you have to look at the website of the product. Some of the brands also put the information on the package but most likely you'll have to look at the website. So overall, there's a lot of evidence suggesting that getting at least two grams or even three grams of omega-3s into your day in the form of EPA and DHA is very beneficial for reducing your risk of neurodegeneration, heart disease, and overall death. If you're not eating a lot of fatty fish, then it's very unlikely to get that amount on a daily basis from just whole foods. You're certainly not going to get it from plant-based foods. I know many people will ask what kind of an omega-3 am I taking? I recommend doing your own research and finding out what is the best for you. But personally, I'm taking the Do Not Age Omega-3 supplement. That's because they have a purified and concentrated triglyceride form of omega-3s. Do Not Age is also a company with very good reputation when it comes to quality and purity of their products. That's why I'm confident that I'm getting a quality product from Do Not Age. If you want to get the Do Not Age Omega-3, including their other longevity supplements like TMG, Glycine and NAC, then head over to donotage.org and use the code SEAM for a 10% discount. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is SEAM. Stay optimized, stay empowered.